Hello, Boston College Nation. This is AJ Black. We're going to do a special episode today in honor of Johnny and Maddie Gaudreau, who tragically passed away in an avoidable car accident on Friday. This is episode I never thought I would ever have to do. Two Boston College legends gone way too soon, leaving behind kids, families who are going through unbelievable grief. Can't imagine what they are going through, but my hearts and thoughts go out to those families. Johnny Gaudreau was a special player and could arguably be called the greatest Boston College hockey player of all time. Maddie had his own right to be special at Boston College, leaving his senior season as the team's leader in scoring. They both went on to have successful careers Johnny in the NHL, Maddie in the um, uh, some of the minor leagues and then playing in Sweden. And then he was the head coach at Gloucester high school where both the, the men played in high school. Uh, and then of course they had such a rich impact on their families. They were both great men. They were, they were the definition of Boston college men and women for others. Um, this is, this is awful. When I heard the news of what happened, you know, I didn't think this was real that Johnny and Maddie these were, you know, 31 and 29 with young families. This should not happen to these, you know, this should not happen. But you hear these stories all the time. You know, this this guy who was allegedly drunk and, you know, driving unsafe hits them and it's over. It's like, what is this? So let's talk a little bit about each. Johnny Gaudreau and Maddie Gaudreau were both, you know, New Jersey kids that were originally supposed to go to Northeastern. And they both ended up decommitting and Maddie, from all accounts, pushed Johnny to go to Boston College. And they, you know, when they get on campus, you immediately see what this is gonna be about. So you, you, you first of all, let's, let's talk about Johnny. Johnny, you look at him, and you're saying to yourself, how can this guy be such an electric hockey player? He's 5'9", you know, and he, you, you got other guys out there like Kevin Hayes and Jimmy Hayes who are huge, huge hockey players. And there's Johnny Gaudreau. And when you watched him play when he got to Boston College, it took one game to realize how special Johnny Gaudreau was. I. I will admit, before 2012, I watched BC Hockey and I loved BC Hockey. But when Johnny Gaudreau got on that team, that was what made me a diehard. That's what made me pay attention to every game when it was on TV. That's what made me make sure, even as a young alumni, I was gobbling up as many tickets as I can so I could go watch this kid play. Because you knew watching Johnny Gaudreau play that what you got was something special and that's something that you would never ever see again at Boston College and we haven't. Will Smith in that line last year, they had a great season, but that doesn't compare to what Johnny Gaudreau did. Johnny Gaudreau led Boston College to a national title in 2012. He won them a he won a Hobie Baker award. He had one of the most decorated careers at Boston College. He won the bean pot four times for the Eagles. You know, all the jokes about how BU, it's the BU Invitational, and anytime you talk to a BU fan, it's always about how they have more titles. During that run, when Gaudreau was there, he made it about Boston College. Because he could, he, he you know, his teams, and it wasn't just him, but he was the, he was, he was that offensive spark every single time. He helped them win those games. Um, and you know, he has his most memorable moment and it's, it's the one I, I tweeted about it earlier on Friday that is seared into my brain. If you would ask me, like some people have their, like, you know, the national championship, the goal, I was it North Dakota against North Dakota. I think it was the game winner or Michigan state. I forget which one it was. A lot of folks that are like, go back. That's their moment for me. It was the game against Ferris state in 2012. Boston College is winning in that game two to one. And Ferris is just 
blasting back and you're just waiting. You're, you know, you, you know, those, like, that's the thing about college. I mean, you know, playoff hockey, college or pros is that it's white knuckle when you're watching. Right. And you're just waiting because it, it felt like they were coming, going to come back. And then what happens? Johnny Gaudreau makes this incredible stick handle and scores the game one. The, 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 the score, it was like three minutes left. The, the one that put BC up three to one and basically sealed the win that he basically shut down Ferris State's comeback attempt and just sealed it. It was, it's a historic goal. And for younger, it's not younger anymore, but for fans that have been, you know, just getting into hockey in the last 15 years, that's the moment that they remember. I, I, at that point, I was working for BC Interruption, part of SB Nation, and I was writing football. And but we made, um, you know, we we had T-shirts that we created, Gadrobi Baker, and it was for his Hobie Baker um, uh, uh, campaign that they were running for because Gadro was so fun to watch. I mean, like you just knew he was going to win it, and he did. And then, you know, he gets he leaves after three years, and everyone knew that was going to happen because. He needed to get to the NHL. This was a guy that just needed to get to the pros, needed to show the world. You get to the pros, and you have to imagine, right? You're watching big dudes. I'm a Boston Bruins person. I'm watching guys like Milan Lucic and you know David David Krejci and some you know Zidano, Zidano Chara, who's like what six nine. Watch all these big dudes. There comes Johnny Gaudreau. Five nine again, and he gets to the pros, and I'm sure that he must have had doubters. There's this little guy. Is he going to actually be able to, you know, do what you know these other NHL players with bigger pedigrees are going to do? He goes out there and he puts together an incredible NHL career with the Calgary Flames, the Columbus Blue Jackets, where he made seven. NHL All-Star Games. He played 10 seasons. He didn't show any bit of slowing down. And he was a scoring machine just like we saw him in college. You 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 look up what you can find on Johnny Gaudreau on Twitter. And people are just posting all these different games whether it's the World Juniors, the NHL shoot like shootouts in NHL games, just NHL games in general, BC games. And every single one of them has an incredible like mind bending play by Johnny Gaudreau. And he's a one of a kind. He's a guy that will never be duplicated. And to, to know that he, that he's gone, that his kids aren't going to see him there. And to see the pictures of him and his kids is just heartbreaking. And his wife, you know, is his now widow. It's, it's hard because it's more than hockey. He's a family man. He's a guy that obviously, you know, the 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 words that his wife put up on Instagram about how like he was there for every appointment and every activity that they were doing. Like this is a, he was a good man. And I think that is more important than the hockey stuff. Is that Johnny Gaudreau meant so much to his family. He was there to go to his sister's wedding. I I can't with this. Like that he and he and Maddie were there to celebrate the wedding of his sister. And this happens <sighs> for the Gaudreau's, you know, I think all of us are praying as hard as we can for them because I, the, the grief that they must be feeling is unimaginable. And then there's Maddie. I don't want to forget about Maddie too, because there's two men that have been lost in this tragedy. Maddie, you know, he, played eight games as a freshman and it was just, you know, you, you saw him and you're going, ah, you know what? He's going to be just, another, you know, like it's, it's, he's just another good draw. It's not going to be the same. It, you can't do Johnny. And to be fair to Maddie, you, you shouldn't have compared him to Johnny, but what did he do by the time he left? He led Boston college in scoring. He had, uh, was it 62 points as a senior 
He won two Hockey East regular season um, championships, and he scored a game-winning goal against Denver. It's, you know, it, which was a crazy goal in its own right, right? Like we just saw what Denver just did to BC in the in the national championship. He did the same thing. So Maddie should not be forgotten in all of this because he was a man too. And he has a family. He has a wife. I believe she was expecting, which is even more heartbreaking. This is all heartbreaking. He, he, you know, this family was a good, good family. And both of these men were giving everything they can to their families and to this world. And it was lost because someone made a terrible decision and drove drunk and was reckless in their car. It's it's unimaginable. It's now such a void in this world because Maddie and Johnny Gaudreau are gone. They should have been able to retire, to spend times with their family. But now we have to sit here and talk about all the stories, which are wonderful because both of these guys, the stories that you read and the stories that you may have heard of are incredible. They're both just, they were the epitome of Boston College. You have Jerry York and Greg Brown, both of them speaking so highly of these two men. And we get to hear all these great things, but there should have been more. There should have been years and years. They should have been able to leave hockey and do what Maddie was doing, like coaching or whatever Johnny wanted to do when he was done. He had, you know, many years in front of him, but he also had family time that he should have been able to experience as well. You know, the stories that are that are leaking out about Johnny and, and Maddie about what kind of men they were when they were at BC are great stories to hear too. You know, I saw, it was it Spitting Chicklets, I think, that put out a story that, you know, he ended up at Mary Ann's with his signing bonus in his ch- in his pocket and Kevin Hayes had to basically keep an eye on him so he didn't lose his signing bonus. Or that, you know, his best friends would go out for sushi. Johnny didn't like sushi, so he brought Subway ham sandwiches to the sushi restaurant. You know, you hear all these great stories and you get to see like, a little bit behind the curtain, what kind of people these these guys were? That they 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 were ones that you would want to you know be friends with because they were great guys. They were you know amazing amazing citizens at Boston College. And so we're now left with what what do we do next? And I don't have an answer. There's no answer to like. How do you move on? You can't move on from this kind of stuff. The, their family, I, I don't, I, 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 I wish, I wish, you know, anything I could do to help, you know, any, we all wish that, you know, for the Gaudreaux's that any moment of peace or anything, but we, you know, that's impossible. But here at Locked on BC, you know, I wanted to do a special episode. There's no ads and nothing on this. It's me talking about a family that meant a lot to the Boston College community, to all of you who are listening out there, who have followed any of their careers or knew anything about them. It's devastating. All of us took this personally, too, because we shared so much time watching both of these men play, either in the NHL or at Boston College. We both wa- we all watched as they made moments that are now things that we will remember them by, things that will keep us uh, keep their 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 legacy going. You know, as I said with the Gaudreau goal against Ferris State, I look at there's you know a few plays in my memories. I've been a Boston College reporter and fan for thirty plus years. That's up there. I never got to live to see. I wasn't, you know, alive. Well, I was alive, but I was young when Flutie made his play. I remember Matt Ryan against Virginia Tech, but that's not even close to this. Virginia Tech was just a a random 
home game, right? I mean, a random uh, regular season game. The Gaudreau goal is one of the biggest plays in Boston College sports history. And I just, he was, he was one of the, you know, wrapping things up here. Cause I, you know, I, I want to get a chance to talk about this as much as I can, but it, it you know, it, it's just tough. He is a player that none of us will ever forget. And I just challenge all of us that if you haven't watched a lot of what Matty Gaudreau did, or maybe he, it's not seared in your brain like the Gaudreau goal, go find his, go look it up. The goal that that I was speaking of against Denver, it's up on YouTube. Go find it. Go watch it. Go watch what he did. Give him the opportunity to be in your brain as well, to, to, to be so that you remember what he did on the Boston College ice. But also don't forget what they did, else they did, what they meant to their families, what they meant to everyone else around them. There's a football game tomorrow. But right now, I think a lot of us are just thinking about this family, thinking about Johnny Gaudreau, thinking about Maddie Gaudreau. And I want to say thank you for everything that you did for the Boston College community. Thank you for being, you know, for for giving us joy and 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 doing so much for Boston College athletics and Boston College in general. And I want to hope you rest in peace and and you know, this is AJ Black. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Maddie. Take care.